Up. Welcome to the Nittany Valley State College, Pennsylvania, the home of Penn State, the eighth-ranked team in the country, playing host to Nebraska. A record crowd expected today at Beaver Stadium as these two clubs continue their success, they hope. Nebraska's won their first two, Penn State unbeaten, a 5-0 combined record, and last week, Nebraska was just simply awesome. Look at the figures. They are averaging 510 yards rushing a game, 55 points a game, and here come the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Nebraska losing last year, 30 to 24 in Lincoln to Penn State. And here come now the Penn State Nittany Lions. Seventy percent as this record crowd. They have been charged up all day long. The tenth meeting between these two clubs. It's a very, very short kick. And Bell lets it go by. Back is Tony Mumford, and he's going to be from the seven-yard line. The Nittany Lions. Todd Blackledge, he's just been superb in the early going. Kenny Jackson goes in motion. Blackledge on to Kurt Warner, and Warner hit it from last season. Second down and eight from the nine. Williams, you can see, now going in motion, number 44. This is Kurt Warner. He's hemmed in, and he, can, he will do that. Third down and seven. Garrity split out. Kenny Jackson also flanked to the bottom of the screen. Blackledge, he crosses him up, but that does not Back to kick is going to be Ralph Giacomero. Back deep, Fryer along with Jeff Smith. It's a short kick, and Fryer tight end. First down now from the 46, Nebraska. Turner Gill, out to Rozier, and Rozier passes inside the 45 to the 43. Gain of two, maybe three, the ball has been fumbled, I believe. Nope. They have blown it dead. Penn State thought they had the football, but Roger Jackson and Mike Robinson to safety. Second down, over the middle, running the ball to the 35-yard line. Third down a yard. Wilkening has come in at fullback now for the Cornhuskers. Turner Gill, off to Craig, and I don't know, it's going to be very close. This is it makes them very, very difficult to defend. Here is that measurement, and they have the first down by what? Maybe the half the length of football? Wait a minute. No, they're indicating... There it is. I thought for a moment he was saying it was short. I thought my eyes had failed me. And it's going to be a first down at the 36 by the half the length of the football. Now, on a first down for Nebraska from the 36 of Penn State. No score, just underway. With Pitts, Craig, Craig. Our teams of lesser competition. They have not been tested. This is what this is today, a big test. Second down, five. Craig again. Tries to bend it back, and that's going to bring up a third down. Third down. Williams moves over to the near side as the tight end, the all-big eight performer. Here's Gill on the option. And Gill is not going to be back to full tilt. Fourth down, they're going for it. Fourth and two. He mishandles the ball. Gill, he's trying to add live, and I don't think he got the first down. Now, Penn State has good field position. Remember the first time they had the ball at the seven. Now at the 27, and Blackleach is going to take advantage of the field position. Beautiful protection. Complete to McCloskey, the tight end. Mike McCloskey out of Philadelphia. Not the blocker, maybe, that some of the other tight ends, but you can see he can grab the football and did. First down, grab at the 37-yard line. Only set back is Williams in the wing position, Kurt Warner. John Williams, 40, 45. He is struggling and has They are throwing the football coming into this game. And Blackleach, play action fake. Good protection again. Lots of time and going to run. And he's down to Blackleach, who wants to be a Rhodes Scholar. He's already a 5 beta Kappa. And he reversed to Warner, and Warner's going nowhere. Third down, four yards to go inside the 45. Blackleach rolling near side, Kurt Warner. Warner is enough for the first down. First down, Kurt Warner, a Heisman Trophy candidate coming into this game. In motion to the top of the screen. You can't see him this time as Jackson. Here is Kurt Warner. And Warner from the 35, second down, seven yards to go. Receivers to the top, Jackson, bottom is Garrity. Blackley, on the play action on second down. Again, all kinds of time. He hits Garrity. Garrity inside the 25. You just said that because you do his damage. You're watching today. First down, 10. Jackson in motion to the bottom. Blackleach, 3 of 3. Flag on the play. Blackleach over the middle. Jackson, that's a touchdown. But let's see what the penalty flag's about. They're going to bring it back. Illegal motion against Penn State. For Blackleach, let's listen. Illegal motion on the offense. First down. And so they'll have to retool now. Retooling. I'll retool you. Very costly penalty, makes it first and 15, but was Jackson open on that? He was at least seven yards fighting out. They have a chore ahead of him. First and 15. That's Williams jumping into the wing spot. Kurt Warner, the running back. Garrity, Jackson split out. First and 15, got to set up the screen. Warner, heck the game. It is noisy down there. Second and 15. Jackson, Garrity split out. 
Blackledge, play action. Again, protection is there. Breaking down now. He is going to be thrown for a loss. He got rid of it. Falling down. That shows you how two receivers at the bottom this time. Garrity and Jackson, and we may have an offside. Back to throw is Blackledge. This is Garrity. He's got another one inside the 10. He's going to break it in, but I believe Penn State's offside, and that's going to be twice. They've had touchdowns called back. Again, there's Paterno. He's saying be quiet on that side. He's trying to get the cheerleaders to quiet him down. Oh, this crowd is at an edge right now. That's Jackson. Starting one way, coming back. Blackledge back on third and 20. Williams put pressure on. McCluskey, he's out of bounds. McCluskey. And you can see him make a great catch, but he just can't quite get his feet down inbounds. As far as five of six for the year. Manka has enough leg on it, and it is no good. It is wide of the mark. And so a mistake riddled Penn State team loses an excellent opportunity to get on the scoreboard. Two touchdowns called back. A missed field goal, and Nebraska comes out of there unscathed. This game here, no score. Nebraska has the football. Turner Gill, and here comes that power football once again down and five. And again, a mix-up on the exchange. It looked like Gill and Remington that time were messed up. As an end result, they come up with the football, but they lose about a yard. Five yards to go. Todd Brown split to the bottom, Turner Gill rolling, he's going to keep it, and he's going to think that's the problem, but Nebraska plays in artificial services, and perhaps that's part of the problem. And the indication is they are short. It'll be fourth down. Nebraska will have to kick the football. There's a Cornhusker fan. It's a long ways from Lincoln, Nebraska, but we saw a lot of red in the hotel this morning. They love their football. They've had 120 consecutive sellouts in Lincoln, Nebraska. So the measurement indicating a fourth down, 24-3 for punt out of Southfield, Michigan. He'll be kicking from the 23-yard line. He hits it high. Mark Robinson back. He makes the fair catch. And hits the there it is. It's official. A record crowd. 85,304, and I might add a noisy crowd. From the seven, the last time, 28-yard line. This is Kurt Warner. They have Coles in a pullback leading the way. Well, I've improved a lot in my consistency. I've really uh, learned to pick up my secondary receivers a lot better. I've learned to utilize my backs in the passing offense a lot better, and I'm just more confident as a quarterback out there. I have a better grasp on what we're doing offensively. I have a better grasp of what I can do physically, uh, and it's just been a situation where I've been able to go out and really just let loose and enjoy football and, and just play with my heart and, and uh, just have fun, and that's, that's been the key. Goes off to Kurt Warner. There he is. Young man out of North Canton, Ohio. Nebraska jumping around on this third and five. In motion goes Kurt Warner. Blackledge protection. Breaking down. He's hit as he delivers. Garrett, he's got it. What a catch. Greg Garrett at the 35. Yeah, Jackson to the dot. John Williams is checked back in. This is Williams with the football. Williams to the 40. He'll take it to the 47-yard line. Jackson split out. Garrett, he's split out. Blackledge, second down. Two. He eludes. Ritter deep to Warner. Warner got it. Williams, Coles and Warners. They have a power backfield in there now. Williams jumping into the wing spot. No score from Beaver Stadium. Blackledge play action. Setting it up nicely. Over the middle. That's last game. Check that. Kurt Coleman. point after. It's 7 to nothing. Kurt Coleman. Yeah, that's right. There's the statistics. Pryor, Rogier, back deep for Nebraska. Thus far, it's been all Penn State in this first quarter. 143 to go in it. Booming kick that time by Manka. They're not going to bring that one out. Pryor, first down for the Cornhuskers. Two tight ends. Crank and Williams in. Gill pitches to Rogier. And Rogier goes for five. Ricky Simmons, number seven, the wide receiver spot. Gill to Rogier. Look at the strength of this guy. Rogier throw back. Let's see if they'll throw. And McGill wants to throw, man wide open, first down, Pryor, and Pryor across the 45, he fumbled the ball, he fumbled the ball, and I believe Penn State has it, they do. Kenny Jackson goes in motion, first down from the 43, Blackley, pressure put on by Merrill, he had to throw it before he wanted to, and Jackson, Jackson. Penn State, Blackley, Pressure put on again. He completes it. Oh, is he annihilated? He led him in tackles for the year. And the 10th leading tackler in Nebraska history. Penn State, after 15 minutes, has the advantage. 7 to nothing. They have been most of now in at a running back spot, along with Joel Coles. Blackledge back to throw. Over the middle, Garrity. But Blackledge is getting some pressure. You can't see that here. The ball is a little bit behind him. Probably catchable. Ralph Giacomero, number 21, back to kick for Penn State on fourth down. He hit it nose high. They're going to let it hit. That ball is going to go out of bounds at the five, maybe the six-yard line. It's noisy now. Turner Gill. 
Rogier, he struggles to the 10 yard from the 10. Rogier, Craig again. Play action. Gill rolling out. Has time, but he overthrew Ricky Smith. 7 0. Gill rolling again. Open and out of bounds goes Fryer, and that will be position. Nebraska now from the 20 yard line. Howard football, they return to Roger and Fort Worth. Roger Craig. Rozier in the backfield for the Cornhuskers. This is Rozier, a flag on the play. He's got the corner, and he has a first down, but a penalty flag. Rozier, that's the first time they've gotten outside. Dan Biondi over to make the stop on Rozier. Rozier, the Big 8 offensive newcomer of the year. It's going to go against Ricky Simmons' end, split to the bottom of the screen. Gill's going to roll that way. He's waiting for Simmons to make his cut. He delivers it. First down. Good patience at time. Gill now three of four. First down. Gill on the option. Big hole. And Gill advances almost to the first down. The ball is loose again. And who's got this one? No determination yet. I think the Cornhuskers have recovered the football. They have. Nebraska has it now. They're very close to the first down. They're going to be just short, about a half yard. One. Now they have the ball at the 45, second and a short yard. Gill going to take advantage of it. And he hits the man over the middle. That's Todd Brown, and Brown has a first down, and Gill is now throwing the ball effectively. That's a 27-yard pickup. First down at the 29 of Penn State. 7-0. Penn State with the lead. Rozier. Rozier cuts it, and he hammers his way to the 27-yard line. And now, for an MC in Ann Arbor, what a win that is for Terry Donahue and the UCLA Bruins. Rozier on a second down and seven. And he'll advance to the 21-yard line. Nothing fancy right now, Rozier. They trail seven to nothing. Big play. Williams and Crank, two tight ends in. It looked like Nebraska might have moved. They did not kill. He mishandles the ball. Penn State has it. Al Harris, number 88, from Wyoming, Pennsylvania. That's the fifth fumble of the game for Nebraska. The second one they've lost. It looked like, to me, the left side of the line fired off prematurely, but there was no play. As an end result, Penn State has the football anyway. At the 29 is where they'll have it. We have a timeout. 10.45 to go, second quarter. At the 29-yard line, they lead 7 to nothing. Blackledge, time to throw. Open, Garrity. Garrity struggles to the midfield strike. Blackledge is on target, and he's spreading the ball around. He's throwing to all of his receivers. First down at the 49, Kurt Warner. Warner cuts it to the 45. He's to the 40. Warner to the 35-yard line. For the Nittany Lions. Blackledge back. Kenny Jackson. Broke it up. Fine coverage at time. Little handoff to Warner. There he goes. He gave him a leg. He took it away. 25, 20, 15 to the 10, 5. He's out of bounds at the 4-yard line. Warner. This is Williams in motion. Blackledge gives to Warner. Warner is going to make it to the 2. Line. Second and goal from the 2. In motion goes Williams. Third Warner again. Warner's got the corner. Touchdown. Down, rushing to the air. Maka to attempt the point after at the 8.51 mark. Maka's kick right up the middle. It's 14 to nothing. Penn State leading Nebraska. And the Cornhuskers are going to have to regroup. Kicking off line drive. Rogier. Hey, they're going to throw the ball to Fryer. Fryer has an alley. And he brings it out across the 20 to the 24. Penn State. Looking now in the backfield along with Rozier. First down at the 23. That's where they mark it. 14 nothing. Penn State. Turner Gill rolling. Todd Brown. 1982. Rozier looking in the backfield. Here is Rozier. Got a block, but not enough. After the 26. So they just made a change there. Johnson, a senior from Harvard, Nebraska, now snaps the ball to Turner Gill. Third and seven. He dumps it to Rozier. Against Florida AM. Big rush, Campbell had a bad snap. He gets it underway, and that's not a good kick. Campbell's lucky to get that ball away. Leondi came storming through and almost got a piece of it. And so they record the points here. The lion being tossed into the air. Penn State, 14-0. Statistics on this game. Penn State, 14-0. This drive, boy, they could really get some distance between themselves and the Huskers. They get something here. On the 45, Todd Blackledge to John Williams. Has the corner. To the 50, he fumbles the ball and went out of bounds, and they got a first down because he fumbled it. CBS and Penn State, impressive in this first half of play. 
Blackledge play action on first down. Protection there again. Broken up nicely. Reaching up was Mike Knox. Knox is just sophomore from Castle Rock. He was the only freshman to letter last year for Nebraska. He may be their strongest linebacker, a high school All-American and a two-time state wrestling champion. That yeah, pass looked like it was headed for a first down. He made a very nice play, a very nice tip, a heads-up play, because Kurt Warner had snuck behind him for a big reception had he caught it. Second down, 10 from the 45. Nebraska needs to hold. They trail 14-0. There's crowd, record crowd, Penn State partisan crowd loving every moment of it. This time, Joel Cole. College football. Inside the 30, second down and eight. Jackson Garrity split up. 14 to nothing, Penn State with the lead. Jackson in motion. Play action, nice take. However, Merrill's not fooled. Open is McCluskey, but I believe he's out of bounds. He is. We're just looking at that secondary. Third down, protection excellent. And broken up. Strang to hold. Anka didn't get up that high, and it's no good. Nebraska. Still very much a nothing lead. The big red machine not rolling yet. They have 58 yards rushing after averaging 510 a game. Roger Craig. Craig out to the third. Nebraska. Ranked number two in the country. Turner Gill back. Broken up inside. Turner Gill wants to throw again. They pick up the man blitzing up the middle prior. The intended receiver. The kick. Last time almost had it blocked. This time he hits it very well. Bow is back at the 23 for Penn State. Bow out to the 30-yard line to the 31. Penn State with 4.45 to go in the first half. A nine-yard return, a 45-yard kick that time by Grant Campbell. Skeeter Nichols, John Williams in the backfield. This is Nichols. Nichols, sophomore from Cambridge, Maryland. Nebraska right now trailing 14-0. Second down, seven. Open, Garrity. Coles, Nichols in the backfield. Blackledge to throw. And Nichols can't come up with it. Good people and Eddie Robinson. In their own words, what a class gentleman he is, a coach at Grambling. Second and ten. Open McCluskey, wide open. McCluskey inside the 25 to the 21. Attack has been impressive. Kurt Warner. Warner has the 20-yard line to the 17. Blackledge on second down to John Williams. Williams trying to turn the corner, stays up somehow to the 16-yard line. He ran right through Neil Harris. Dan Kroger play in this possession, starting for the 31-yard line. From third down and four, Warner broken up, almost intercepted. Good intercepted. Third field goal attempt of the day. This is the 33-yarder by Manka. This kick is a knuckleball, and he's missed three. The freshman from Reno, Nevada, Rogier, Wokening in the backfield, 1.45 to go until halftime. Turner Gill back. Todd Brown and Brown at this stage. Joe Paterno talking a little defense now. First down from the 40, Gill to Ricky Simmons. First down catch. He took a pretty good shot, but he held on. Remington back in at center. Turner Gill throws to Brown. Did he juggle it? He did. He did not have possession before he went out of bounds. But Gill is throwing some arrows. You see that? He got that foot down, but evidently did not have control. Gill back. That ball is a little wide of the mark. From the 48 and a half for Penn State. Third down, 10. Gill over the middle. Flyers got it inside the 30. Turner Gill going to the airways again. And effectively, Jamie Williams can't hang on. Williams, Tom Osborne wants a timeout. So with 46 seconds left in the first half, Nebraska expends its first timeout of this game. Turner Gill will come to the sideline. Turner Gill back. Look out. He's under pressure. Got it off to Fryer. Fryer breaks it. He's going to take it in. Touchdown. What a good time. And that puts Nebraska right back in the picture. Kevin Seibel, point after attempt on the way. 14-7. Bow and Mumford back deep for Penn State. This is going to be Bow. Bow from the five. 15. Bow at the 17-yard line. Well, this crowd all of a sudden, Pat, has gotten very quiet. And those three just rides out the remaining seconds. That's what he's going to do. So, this struggle between two teams with unbelievable traditions. You talk about football traditions. You have the USC's and Notre Dame, but these two teams do not take a backseat to anyone. Penn State, Nebraska, seven points separating them as we wind down to halftime. It's been a remarkable day in football. We'll be updating some of the scores and highlights at halftime. We gave you some of the upsets. What a year this is, as we have a lot of those fifth-year seniors that are having some big years. And so the first half has come to a close. Manka, and we're underway. 
second half. He powers one. Fryer back deep, and he won't bring that one out. Cuts back to the 20-yard line. Looking at this first half, Pat, I'm surprised how even the statistics are. Early, it was Penn State, but you see total yardage, not that much difference. Well, the, the statistics don't reflect, Gary. It's the times that Penn State has missed the three field goals. They had a touchdown pass called back. Penn State really could have put this game away in the first half. They did not do so. Penn State, you can see time and possession led there. The two turnovers, very costly to Nebraska. Rozier, Wilkening, the two running backs from the 20-yard line. Turner Gill gives off to Wilkening the full eight of 16, 147 yards. Back to throw on second down. And ten of Gill pumping, he's going to try to keep it now, and he gets it off in the last moment to Rogier. Rogier breaks out across the 35, he's to the 40, and that's just good athletic ability. Great poise on the part of Turner Gill. A loss turned into a 17-yard gain. A spectacular point operating from the 37-yard line. Gill back to throw, time is there, going to the far side, Simmons! He was out of bounds. We've been told that Nebraska's now offense is on Turner Gill. Time he runs it out, not I don't think a lot of people realize how well he throws the ball, but now he's moving. He can't come down inbound, one foot on the shot. Well, he's in place. Well, he's in Look how it changed in the second quarter. Isn't that something? Gill, an end around, reverse. Fryer, Fryer to the 45, 50, open field, 40. He may go. 20. He's dropped to the 19-yard line. Fryer's made two big plays in this game. First down, Turner Gill back. Time, lots of time. Going to the corner. Todd Brown, overthrown. Beyondi there. 45 yards. Shane Swanson now in at the wingback spot. Give to Wilkening, and Wilkening got a yard, and that's all. Third down, 10. Gill with time. Now he's in trouble. Gets it off to Rogier, and he has dropped the ball. Let's see. I think it's incomplete. It will be. Turner Gill. The whole bad snap. He's in trouble. Gill. He's not going to get the first down. Boy, the field goal kicking teams have really had a difficult time. Penn State missed three. Nebraska didn't even get a crack at it. They gained a yard on that play, and the ball turns over to 17. Third quarter. From the 17, Coles, Warner in the backfield. This is Warner, Warner, out to the 25. Oh, what a run. He just took 12, 15 to go, third quarter. The Nittany Lions with a 14 to 7 lead, almost missed that handoff. Penn State got the first down. Jeff Merrill is now into the backfield. Blackley's back, protection breaking down, hits Coles, right on the play. Coles to the 36-yard line. That's Spiros, one of the tri-captains, and they'll be going against Nebraska, holding against the Huskers. Along with Walker Lee Ashley, Ken Kelly, the three men, the tri captains for Penn State. Penn State has such depth in their backfield position. You see Joel Coles, Skeeter Nichols come in. Defense, first down. They play very, very well when Kurt Warner's been out. out. These young men, they have great depth in their backfield position. You know, with the Clouds getting here, getting darker. We have mobile lighting, Moscow's lighting, and you're going to see a lot of that. That's the future. College football games in the evening when it gets dark, and it's beautiful the way the lighting has worked here. First down, up to John Williams. Williams to the 45, and this hard-nosed player is into the Nebraska, into the field at the 48. 11 minutes to go, third quarter. Blackledge off to Coles. Coles to the 40, and very close to the first down. Had to be taken. Blackledge back to throw. McCluskey the big tight end. Big move, 25. McCluskey to the 20. Kurt Coleman now in a tight end. Skeeter Nichols. And Skeeter doing a pretty good job of getting anything out of that play. Inside the 20. The back field now has returned. Back to throw. Blackledge on second down and eight over the middle. And it is caught for the touchdown. Kenny Jackson. Leaguer today, attempting this point after. He has this one. Right here. The running backs from the 20. Nebraska now has to get things going. Turner Gill gives it Rozier. Big hole. 25, 30, and he is close to the first down. Through a tough schedule. First down across the 30. Rozier again, ad-libbing this time. His ad-lib gets him almost five yards. Second down and five for the Huskers. Rozier again. Nothing this time. Put out his fire. He's back into the ball game. Gill rolling to his side. He's going to run it. He's going to pick up a first down easily. He's to the 50-yard line. That's where they respected the pass. As an end result, Gill State was moving here in the third quarter. Back to throw. Gill short. Turner Gill on the option. Keeps it. 40. 35. Cuts to the 30. And that's the athletic ability of Turner Gill. That play on the play. Moves the ball. First down to the 28. Up the middle. Wilkening a flag on the play. Wilkening has the first down, but a penalty flag. A couple of outside plays previous to that and a few passes. Going to have a legal procedure against Nebraska. Been a very clean game. We've had only five penalties. Back to throw. Turner Gill. And he hits Fryer. He stayed in. Gill inside. Handoff to Rogier. And Rogier to the 21-yard line. 
Hill to Rogier. Rogier's got it. Welcoming along with Rogier in the backfield. Rogier waiting for the block and didn't develop. Good reaction in particular by Turner Gill rolling. He throws to Wilkening, Wilkening to the five. Wilkening in the backfield, Rogier third and one, Rogier, and he got it. First and goal. I don't know if he can stop. By the whole half length of the football. Turner Gill off to Wilkening. He'll drive it to the three. Second and goal there, Wilkening. He'll go in motion. Turner Gill on the option, cuts it up, and he's going to make it to the two. Third and goal at the two. Turner Gill throwing, touchdown, Rogier. If you don't wear red, you feel like you're out of place. Seibel to attempt the point after. Gill holding the kick, and it's now 21-14. Producer Rick Lasavita on top of the scene as right now Seibel kicking off. 21-14, Penn State with the lead. That's Bauer. Kevin Bauer to the 15. Let's have it there for the 23. Merrill in at that nose tackle. Stucky alongside him. Toby Williams up front. To Joel Cole. And Cole out to the top. Lackledge. On second down. He gets up to Steven Nichols. Nichols, 30, 35, first down, 40, 45, all the way to the 50-yard line. Paterno does so well. 22-yard run to the 50. Back to throw, Blackledge, Battaglia blocking for him. Complete to Kenny Jackson. Jackson to the 40. Nichols in the backfield. Blackledge on second and less than a yard. McCluskey, he's run out of room. Here is Blackledge sneaking it forward. Now there is a man that would be touching his foot to the bottom of the screen. Skeeter Nichols. Nichols hemmed in and may have gotten back to the line of scrimmage, and that's all. Garrity split to the top. Second down, 10. Pressure put on, and John Williams had it. They're going to hold it a completion, I believe, and Nebraska's return has come up with a football. I don't know if he had this one. Joe Paterno is on the field on the far side. Let's look at it again. Williams is claiming he never had possession. Gary, that might have been a backward pass, otherwise known as a lateral, which would have made that ball live. Dave Ritter was over there. He put the hit on him. Let's see. Now you're going to see Todd Blackledge. It's tough to tell from this angle here, but if that ball is thrown behind him, it's a live ball. It's called a backward pass, otherwise known as a lateral. That's why the bias ball is still alive. That replay indicated he had it for a stride. Anyway, Nebraska, big turnover at the 50-yard line. Given the new man of the ball game, Jeff Smith. Yes, and that is going to be the end of the third quarter. The score here at Beaver Stadium. Penn State, 21, Nebraska, 14. We'll be back with fourth quarter action. Team Penn State with the lead. Second down, 10 for Nebraska from the 50. Turner Gill intercepted. A beautiful play. Al Harris. Harris is a now. Use the five-yard marker as your frame of reference. He throws the ball there on the five-yard line stripe to John Williams, who catches the ball in front of that stripe. But that shows you that it is not a lateral, and he does not have possession that should not have been a fumble. But anyway, they get it back. Skeeter Nichols has a fumble, and Nebraska, I think, has it. They do at the 45-yard line. Just short of their own 45-yard line. We just started the fourth quarter. Turner Gill to Rogier, and Rogier, he may have gotten to the line. Out to the far side is Simmons. He is split out along with Fryer. Rolling out is Turner Gill. It's broken up, and it's caught. It's caught on the deflection by Fryer. Some rain has been forecast. First down from the 38-yard line up the middle. This is Wilkening to the 30, to the 25. He fumbled the ball. It's loose. And Nebraska has it. 15-yard gain on the play with the fumble included. Pass intended for Brown. That'll stop the clock with 13 points. Turner Gill rolling up, broken up, and it's fourth. They're going to mark it at the 27. It'll be a 37-yard attempt. There is Seibel. Seibel's kick, and it is up. It's good. And Seibel kicking his first play in the second half. Nebraska now down 21-17. Seibel kicking off. Battle goes back for Penn State. He's going to bring it out. Out to the 15. Now out to the 20, and he got about a yard extra weight. The ball is loose again, but it's been one of the running backs behind Todd Blackledge. 12.56 left in this fourth quarter. This game has been up to what we expected. Off it goes to Williams. 25, 5-4 in favor of Penn State. Fourth consecutive year they've met. Back to throw Blackledge. Complete to Williams. And Williams is grabbed in a hurry by Dave Thoreau, 29-yard line. They have the power backfield in. Now they jump Williams into the wing position. Send Williams in motion. Blackledge, pitch to Mumford, first down. First down of this game for Penn State. Nebraska has 17. Here is John Williams. Williams to the 40, 45. Another first down. He's all the way to the 50. Williams is not that big, but he was big. This is Williams, and nothing for this big game, and they've been equal to it. Excellent offense. 
Todd Blackledge on second and 11. Pressure put on. He gets away from Dan Kroger. Look it up. Nice play by Dave. Let the freshman in rushing now move the defensive back. Blackledge, by the way, has not been sacked today. He is so strong back there. Third down, 11. Jackson, he's got it. Brilliant afternoon after a slow start. Skeeter Nichols. Nichols to the 30-yard line. A pickup of two. Second down, Skeeter Nichols. The running backs. Blackledge over the middle. Complete to Garrity. Garrity dropped by Neil Harris. That Penn State now, 435 yards in offense. Third and one. This time, they're not going to get it, I don't believe. Mike Knox filled so effectively on that play. Can you kick a field goal here now? Boy, I don't know. Fourth down, it's less than a yard to go. Penn State with two timeouts left. No field goal unit coming in yet. Remember, Manka has missed three. They're going to go for it. The crowd wasn't. Humphrey coming in. John Williams coming in. Let's see if they go to that play where they had a third and two earlier and converted it. That was the right side when they did it the last time. Let's see if they do it again. The power backfield in there. Coles, Williams, Mumford. Now they move around. Let's see if they pitch to Williams to the side or move to the side. It's Mumford again. Same play. Osborne, he has to be waiting with hell breath. The fans up waiting the decision. They got it. Oh, but was it close. They say it's a game of inches. Boy, was that close. Blackley John first down, wanting to throw over the middle. Garrity intercepted. They got to get the touchdown to win it. Turner Gill to Wilkinson, and that's a yard. That's all. 21 17. Second down, nine. Turner Gill on the option, tripped up. Good play that time. Turner Gill wanting to throw. Open. Todd Brown, he's got it. That's a first down. And one. First down and 10. Up the middle. Inside, second down, five. They're picking up some good yardage on that first down, which gives them more options. Turner Gill rolling out. Up the middle, complete to Williams. It's 4.26 to go. First down, short of the 40-yard line. Turner Gill on first down, wanting to throw. Crink, the other tight end. And he's the 30-yard line. Four minutes, the clock over, moving at this particular time. Turner Gill to Wilkening. Wilkening for two. Nine. Turner Gill, and Gill almost picked up, and then caught, no, incomplete. Almost the team. Turner Gill back, over the middle, caught. Oh, what a hit of the 15 short of the 15-yard line. Turner Gill on the option. He pitches at the last moment to Rozier. Rozier inside the five to three. Nebraska trying to take the lead. Two, 36 left in the game. Rozier, he's going to be short. It'll be second and goal there. A massive second and goal. Ricky Simmons put out. Give up the middle to Wilkening. He is just short. He is just short. It's third and goal. Turner Gill sneaking. And no determination. Touchdown. The field goal could win it if they miss this one. But he got it. He just kicked a very important point after to give him a three-point lead, 24-21. And there is the story. The time left. A big play offense. Penn State has. They still got a last gas effort. Seibel kicking off. Bow is back deep along with Munford, and Bow is not going to bring it out. Williams, Skeeter, Nichols are running backs. Warner not in there. Back to throw. Blackleach. Complete. Nichols 40, 45. First down for the midfield strike. Mike Knox made the stop of 15 yards. Pick it. Back to the live action. First down for the midfield strike. Blackleach again. Bow. He dropped it. That's the time left. Second down, 10. Blackleach with protection. And cut. Coming up with the catch is Kenny Washington. Blackleach a little delayed away. Williams. That did not pull Nebraska. Well, the crowd is quiet. Going for all of it. Harris is down there along with Garrity. They're out of the end zone. Harris who intercepted that just absolutely. What are the statistical possibilities of that happening? Unbelievable. Penn State's receivers have to be assured that they get 11 yards when they run the routes here. It's fourth down. Okay, this may be the game right here. Blackledge, he's got the first down. They have only one timeout left. First down. They will not start it until they put this in motion. Now they put the time in motion. You see it. Blackledge back. First down pass. He's got to run. He's going to have to get out of bounds, and he does. He stops the clock. Puts tickles the running backs. Second down and five. McCluskey. McCluskey's got it at the two-yard line. Two. Unbelievable. At 
catch, his fourth catch, 68 yards. Blackledge had ice water in his veins. He just stood back there calmly, collectively, through the strike. They have one timeout left. They've got to be aware of nine seconds if they don't get in here. Power backfield, three backs in. Williams now jumps in. They pitched to Mumford on two previous plays. Let's see if they do this time. Nope, they're going to play action fake. Blackledge over the middle. Did he get it? Touchdown! First moment. They came on to the end zone area. Kurt Bowman, his second touchdown catch of the day. The exact same play. Power backfield. A fake to Mumford. Bowman to Brady. You see, he's open earlier. The ball is thrown a little bit low. The former tackle goes down low to catch it. I tell you, that couldn't have been any closer. Look at Paterno. <laughs> Bowman, two catches, two touchdowns for 16 yards. They should have moved into tight end a long time ago. <laughs> Hankin now. The point after this, John Williams. Four seconds left. What a finish to an outstanding football game. They still have the fans on the infield area over there, but they're off the playing field right now. Here's Manku, did not have to kick another field goal. He has to be relieved. No, this one's no good. I don't believe it. He missed three field goals, now he missed the point after. Well, with four seconds, that's probably academic. Blackledge in this game, three touchdown passes, 295 yards. He has now set a Penn State record for touchdowns thrown in a season, 15. If it works, you go back to it today. Manku missed the point after, kicks it down to Rogier. Rogier, last play of the game. He'd have to break it all the way in order to pull it out. He's trying his darndest to do it, but it won't happen. They're tearing the goalpost down. CAA on CBS. What football we've had this Saturday afternoon. Penn State 27-24.